So where do we start for this? Crossbones buff. Everyone's going absolutely crazy for this thing. I'm seeing six star rank three record, world record uh, thing abyss kills. I'm seeing, you know, collector solos. I'm seeing crazy, crazy stuff with a fully stacked out crossbones with all the synergies. But I'm just going to put it down to the basics and see how good this guy is just on his own without the synergies and how practical he really is. Because the more and more testing I've done with this guy, the more I've realized how impractical he is and how very stressful and sort of frustrating his playstyle is for me. And obviously, I'm going to still say, just saying, this is just my opinion, this buff still is really good. He definitely has got a lot better utility, a lot better damage. It's just that, in my opinion, there are a few things that I am not a big fan of. So, yeah, that's why I'm going to say that this buff isn't as good as you think. Because I think a lot of people will rank him up after seeing the videos they've seen and not be as impressed. Because if you're not skilled enough to do all these things or have certain synergy champions, then it's not going to be as easy. So first of all, the first thing I'm going to go over is that without the Mangog synergy, he is much harder to sustain those Furies, which give a 50% Fury duration with that Mangog synergy. So if you don't have a Mangog, which most people don't because he's a, very, a relatively new champion, um, it's going to be a lot harder. There's going to be 50% less duration, and that that's a really big difference. I'm telling you, all the videos you've seen by Seaton, other YouTubers, most people have been using that synergy, and that's why their Furies may be looking like they're lasting a bit longer. Whereas in this gameplay I'm using in the Cavalier EQ, in the Skills Quest, uh, I'm not, I don't have that synergy, because one, I don't have Mangog, but two, I didn't want to show him with Mangog if I did, because it's a bit less uh, realistic. So yeah. Most people don't have Mangog as he is a new champion, and that's a very important point. Also, uh, second or third point, I guess, he's very difficult to heavy intercept with in most matchups and impossible in some. And I said this in my first video uh, for the Captain Marvel matchup because her special attacks are like just impossible to intercept with a heavy. Uh, maybe her heavy attack you could intercept off with, but otherwise you've got to uh, sacrifice a fury to pause your furies for five seconds. And unless you've got that Mango synergy, pausing the Furies doesn't really do too much to help you out. So yeah, the uh, heavy intercepting is a bit unfortunate. But as well as that, his heavy attack is fairly unreliable sometimes. It's not the quickest thing. It is one hit, which is pretty nice. But in some circumstances, it has failed me uh, with the intercepts and uh, can be a bit disappointing. In other ones, it's pretty reliable. But yeah, I'm just going to say the heavy attack has a fairly short range in some matchups. Also, if you're in a stun immune matchup, it's pretty much impossible to maintain these, maintain these furies because you are relying on parries for those heavy attacks or you can just try to go for the heavy intercepts. But still, it's just going to be a lot harder and you're just going to have to prove yourself to be a much more skilled player than a lot of players. Um, also, something that was really annoyed me that no one has talked about unless I'm really stupid and I hope I'm not really stupid and that is that I can see there's no icon for the Contempt, which is, you know, the bonuses he gets to get, uh, gets against hero champions, like Magneto's Magnetism. So if we go into this max matchup with Drax, yeah, uh, say he's tagged a hero, there is no sort of icon to show that. Because obviously you can look at their tags and you can figure it out yourself, but I like the idea that like when you're using Magneto, you can see all oh, there's Magnetism, or when with your Blade... Uh, you've got blades you can see oh, i've got danger sense and that will sort of tell you whether you've gone in the right matchup which will give you those bonuses whereas with crossbones uh you'll just figure out by how much damage you're dealing unless you've got the synergy which expands to all champions like blade had with uh, co co uh ghost rider so yeah that's just a little thing i've uh found out also as i said before he relies on synergies mainly mangog isn't a good enough champion to want to bring along for very necessary synergy in my opinion Mangog is quite a noodle. He has some good utility, but he is definitely not a top Mystic champion and uh, will not be used as much as most other champions, like uh, Ghost, who has Hood, or uh, Wasp, who are decent champions. So yeah, that's a bit unfortunate for those synergies. Uh, other than that, I guess the synergies are okay. Captain America Infinity Wars got one with him, which is great because he's a good champion. And uh, some of those other champions like Hit Monkey to expand it to all champions is a good champion as well. So don't complain too much about that. But 
uh yeah that's that's another thing and then maybe uh fifth thing sixth thing i don't know what we've, what we've got to on this list but um his sp2 in my opinion is the coolest animation out of all his animations and even his sp3 However, in most matchups, except for these ones, which are kind of short fights, to maintain those furies, you're just going to be, have to spam the SP1 to build up those furies. And in my opinion, the SP1 is just a very, very boring special. And as I said before, I wish that was the one single animation they changed because, yeah, uh, I just, I, it's too simple for me. I, I'd like him to incorporate that knife he had or a gun or something just to give it a few more hits. Or even just to, you know, give some debuffs off that or something. I mean, maybe it's it's fairly it's a fairly quick special. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter too much, but I've heard no one else complain, so maybe it's just me. But you know, I uh, I found the more and more I played with crossbones, uh, the less and less I actually liked his animations, and I don't know why that is. But um, yeah, I thought I'd like them more, but they're not as satisfying as I thought. But uh, that's maybe just me. And uh, yeah, so kind of to round this up. Um, my main opinion here is that I just would want more uh, good old simple characters who can just, you you know, you can just mash into the opponent and not have to worry about, like, dashing back every five seconds or heavy intercepting to keep up your damage. You know, I just think it's a very stressful play style and uh, which I'm right now just not up to. You know, you've got characters like Nick Fury and Falcon. And although Falcon has to dash back to get his lock-on mechanic, it is just a lot more reliable and fun and the damage is there already. There's not really a ramp up unless you're in longer fights. So I still think Falcon is a better character overall. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think he is worth ranking up of, uh, for most players who have a decently well-developed roster of champs who can do the same things more easily, like Nick Fury, uh, like Falcon, you know, even like Kingpin or Mole Man, I'm, I would still say in most matchups, which are shorter, are better. But as we've seen, you know, crossbones can be great in longer matchups and can have very, very high damage potential and some of the highest in the game. However, you've got to be a very skilled, good player. So, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Same sort of uh, thing with Hela, but he doesn't have as much as the Civil Warrior problem, as I said before. It's just uh, maintaining those furies can be very difficult and very stressful. And, uh, yeah, I, I just wish he had permanent stacking furies. That might be too OP, obviously, but that would make it a lot easier to play him. So yeah, those are my early thoughts on this buff and some things that I'm not too pleased with, but some things that I think uh, are very important and doing well. So yeah, I want to hear what you guys think. I might get absolutely slated as I said once before because I know a lot of people are really happy with this buff. So yeah, if you're happy, I'm not going to take that away from you. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. That's just the drugs Don't they make you feel numb? You can't feel it all, all Maybe if we loved ourselves It wouldn't be so hard it Wouldn't be so hard To love each other I don't think we're in love